Are you trying to figure out how to price your products or services for maximum profitability? Are you wondering what pricing strategies can drive sales while ensuring a healthy profit margin? Would you want to learn how to develop a pricing model that reflects your business's value and appeals to your customers? Setting the right prices is a balancing act that can significantly impact your business's success. Hi, I'm Mami N, your Mami Negosyo, and I'll walk you through the process of developing pricing strategies for profitability. It's about finding that sweet spot where your prices align with customer expectations and your business goals. So here are the five tips that we're going to talk about in this video. Number one, understand your costs. Number two, analyze the market and the competitors. Number three, consider value-based pricing. Number four, factor in customer perception and demand. And finally, number five, test and adjust your pricing. So to get you started, here's tip number one, which is to understand your costs. Knowing your costs is essential to ensure your pricing covers expenses and yields profit. And here's what you have to do. Calculate all the costs involved in producing your product or service, including materials, labor, overheads, and marketing. So this forms the baseline for your pricing. Let's use Ella's clothing and sewing business as an example. Here's her problem. She noticed that despite making sales, her profit margins were inconsistent. And upon closer inspection, Ella realized that she was not accurately accounting for all her costs. This also included the time spent on each garment and the overhead costs of running her boutique. Because of this lack of clarity, it made it difficult for her to determine the correct pricing strategy. By understanding all her costs, Ella began calculating the exact cost of each garment, considering materials, labor, and operational expenses. Now, this detailed approach helped her set prices that covered her costs while ensuring a reasonable profit margin. Understanding your costs well forms the basis for informed pricing decisions that support your clothing and sewing businesses' sustainability and growth. Got that? Good. So, let's move to tip number two analyze the market and competitors. Conducting market and competitor analysis is crucial for shaping your pricing strategy effectively. By knowing the market and your competitors' prices, you can make smart decisions that match market trends and meet customer expectations. How? Start by researching market rates for similar clothing and sewing products. Look at what your competitors are charging and how they position their offerings. Then, analyze their pricing strategies to identify opportunities to differentiate and offer value to your customers. Remember Ella? To improve things for her business, she conducted thorough market research to understand the pricing of similar garments in her niche. And so, Ella analyzed her competitors' pricing strategies. She also identified a gap where she could offer high-quality clothing at a more competitive price points. And using this market and competitor analysis, Ella set her pricing strategy more effectively. So number three, consider value-based pricing. What's that? First of all, are you scared of pricing your products or services high? Is it because people are always looking for budget-friendly prices? Well, consider this tip. This approach focuses on the perceived value of your product or service to customers rather than just covering costs. Assess how customers perceive the value of your product. Understand the benefits and unique qualities that differentiate your offerings in the market. Price your products based on the value they provide to customers. This allows you to charge higher prices for products that provide special benefits customers are willing to pay extra for going beyond basic cost considerations. So for you to understand this better, let's take a look at how my coaching client, Lisa, was able to do this. So Lisa owns a furniture business. She struggled with pricing her new line of custom-designed furniture. After finding out what she needed to do, she immediately took action using this tip. And this is how she did it. She priced her furniture higher to reflect the superior quality and customization options, appealing to customers looking for exclusive high-end pieces. Got that? Let's now tackle the next tip together. Number four, factor in customer perception and demand. Pricing should always align with how your customers perceive your product and their willingness to pay. Begin by understanding your target market's spending behavior and preferences. Again, conducting market research plays a key role here. 
This will help you gauge how customers perceive the value of your product and their expectations regarding pricing. You can then adjust your prices based on customer demand and their willingness to pay. Now, this approach ensures that your pricing strategy meets customer expectations while maximizing profitability. So I want you to meet Emma, my plantita menti. She discovered through her customer feedback and market research that her clientele highly valued unique and rare plant species. Recognizing this preference, Emma adjusted her pricing strategy to reflect the price premium customers were willing to pay for these specialty plants. Taking into account how customers see things and what they want really helped her business meet expectations and become known as the place to go to for hard-to-find plants. This strategic pricing approach contributed to increased sales and customer satisfaction. So to wrap things up, let's now talk about our final tip, which is to test and to adjust your pricing. Always keep in mind that even when things are going well, market conditions and customer preferences evolve. That's why it's important to remain flexible and responsive to these changes. Consider experimenting with different pricing strategies. This could involve testing various price points, discounts, promotions, or bundle offers to gauge customer response and market acceptance. Meet Annie, my coaching client, who owns a music store. To stay ahead, she implemented various pricing levels for her instruments and accessories. And for her to do that, she carefully monitored sales data, customer feedback, and profitability to evaluate the effectiveness of each strategy. By analyzing this information, Annie identified the optimal price points that not only boosted sales volume but also maintained healthy profit margins. This strategic approach allowed her music store to align her pricing strategy with customer expectations and market dynamics more effectively. See, regularly testing and adjusting your prices keeps your business competitive and responsive to changing market trends. And it enables you to maximize revenue while enhancing customer satisfaction and loyalty. So remember, effective pricing is a dynamic process that combines cost understanding, market analysis, customer perception, and ongoing adjustment. All you need to do is to find a pricing strategy that works best for your business. And if you're ready to learn more and to take your business to the next level, remember to subscribe to my newsletter and my free starter kit at mamminegosyo.com for more insights and tips. Thank you for joining me today. This is Mami and your Mami Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Yeah.